The, the views and comments expressed on the following radio program by his hosts and their guests do not necessarily reflect the views of rmconair.com or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. exist this week it's on rmc on air.com we are here me brother bobby and brother zo on a mission <laughs> what what's gonna happen this week i don't <laughs> know I'm, I'm fucking, <laughs> they be putting me up on game when i walk in hey corey motherfuckers say they own this type of shit i'm like all right cool i don't give a fuck <laughs> i don't mm. sweat the small shit what's happening y'all hey man i had a quick question for you um the President of the United States um, had a speech last week where he was commending this um, Attorney General who is very uh, successful and accomplished, and he closed out his commentary by mentioning that she also was a very attractive woman. And then the media took that, produced it, sent it out to the public, and a firestorm erupted and he apologized to everyone, I guess, for uh, mentioning that this woman was attractive. And the bitch look good. Uh, she was fine as cat hair. <laughs> that shit is fucking hilarious to me, man. I mean, but he put himself in that position. This motherfucker took a sucker-ass job. So sucker-ass sucker shit. A sucker-ass, the president of the United States is, is a sucker-ass job? Especially for Good a black either. man. That's got to be the most sucker job you could ever take in your life. We gonna, They gonna wrap so much shit around this motherfucker, I mean, this man before it's all over with. <laughs> It is going to be fucking, it, they're going to be like, man, he shouldn't have never been paid yet. Why is it such a difficult job for a black man in particular? Well, I'll give you just one example. I remember when they um, so-called invaded that little, um, that little trap house out there in uh, <laughs> Egypt. What is it? <laughs> trap where, house? Yeah, where they got Saddam at. I mean, not Saddam. Um, Gaddafi? Osama. Osama. Yeah, Osama was in the trap house. You know what I mean? <laughs> And they had him watch it. And you can tell they just told him to come in here and watch this shit, nigga. We want to see your reaction. And then we want you to say something. And he was like, we got him. Wow. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. I mean, come on, man. It, it might be me. But you got to see through that shit. I'm like, who the fuck says, we got him? That ain't even how it go. <laughs> like, how does it go, Corey? Puppet motherfucker. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we got him. That's my hmm. new shit. We got him. We got him. <laughs> we got him. That's the first thing he said. Because he was in shock. That was his first time probably seeing some shit with motherfuckers come in and get shot up. They made him sit through that shit. They broke him on purpose. The mob used to do that to motherfuckers. That's how they break motherfuckers. They be like, watch this. See a motherfucker get shot up and shit. Wow. That'll be you next. Well, no, I'm saying I'm from. I'm I, just saying. I, I done seen some awful shit That's as the a threat. child. I was already broken. Mm. Mm. Wasn't no crisis center motherfuckers come over there like like if somebody get killed like in a little suburban neighborhood they had a crisis people come over there and try right. to talk the kids through it no none of that shit just a dead motherfucker on the playground all the kids running away <laughs> that's it we had to grow up off that shit we saw that grown man face get blown off 
Want no crisis centers? All right, want no crisis centers. Obama, Obama set us up. Set Sit us, down and watch The Incredible Hulk. Right. He <laughs> set himself up for all this shit where him and Tiger Woods have to apologize for being a man. <laughs> okay. Wow. My next question, Corey, there was a brother, and I and I, I found out today what the twer what do you call it, twerping, tweeping? Twerking. Twerking. You, you know what that means? It's a dance. Okay. Ass clapping. Yeah. Well, that's what he told me, man. And, and something ass, that I could understand. Ass applause. This guy caught his daughter clapping, and then he clapped her ass. Uh, did you hear about that? And if you did or didn't, if you walked in and your daughter was uh, <laughs> tw twapping, twerking, twerking, on on YouTube, wasn't it? <laughs> wasn't it on YouTube? Facebook. Facebook. If your if your daughter is twerking on Facebook, she uploaded a twerk video. Her and her sister. Right. Those are born whores. <laughs> you can't change this about them. That just you means, can't change the game. That right. just means they can't twerk in front of you no more. That means they get to twerk when you ain't around. But it's in their blood to twerk. That means so pimps you would, you are would, natural gurus what to What bitch who want good for herself in life <laughs> is going to upload herself twerking? That is a born to lose bitch. So you wouldn't have disciplined her? No, I'm not saying what I wouldn't have done, but I would have let my daughter know, you know what I'm saying, you heading for a life of bullshit. I mean, Well, you know, twerking is mainstream now. You got good girls twerking now. Well, good you girls, even got, you know... I'm just saying, you even got women twerking. installing poles in their room and taking pole dancing classes. Twerking has gone mainstream. And that's wifey material. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No, no, but look, I want to let you know, if you have a video <laughs> on Facebook where you twerking, um... The worst is yet to come. Your, your life will be um, full of dicks with bad intentions. So as you let the world see you twerk, just know uh, people who are attracted to public twerkers ought to be the ones that you're going to be in relationships with. Wow. Wow. What about... You trying to tell me right now, and maybe maybe ladies call in three two three nine six five sixteen hundred. Are there any good girls out there who twerk twerk it for their man, clap it for their man? Maybe you're just That's, doing it too. I didn't say. I didn't I'm say just something about twerking for your man. Okay. For your man, you can do all kind of strange things. But I'm saying so twerking your is video, a good thing. If you got look, check this. Out. I saw this girl. I know her from <laughs> porn. Uh oh. And I said, as I walked up on her, I was like, oh, yeah, I see your shit. <laughs> and you know, she was like, don't talk disrespectful to me. I was like, bitch, your pussy hole <laughs> is on screensavers all over the world. And you telling me I'm being disrespectful to you? <laughs> right. Bitches don't even know they losers no more. <laughs> Wow, your change purse is wide open for everybody to see. Right, God damn it. Wow. And that's what that bitch had, a change purse. <laughs> I can tell by the car she was driving. Oh. Bitch, you better get a wallet, pussy. <laughs> you better get you a pocketbook, pussy. Oh, God. Change purse. Hell no, that's fucked up. Wow. That was the most disrespectful thing you ever said about a woman, pussy, Zoe. Zoe said these hoes got change purses out here. <laughs> Work on them little nickels and pennies all out and collect them and see if you can get a soda. Wow. <laughs> Call us right now. 323-965-1600. Three, 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 do, do you think the dude was right for whooping the girls with the Xbox extension cord? Is that what he... What, yeah, he grabbed uh, anything that was available. I oh, think uh, the closest oh. thing was the game controller cords, I think. Well, like, I think he had an old school flashback, you know, pretty much, you know, and he just couldn't... They arrested you him. You think though. he was wrong? Oh, uh, he was arrested. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They arrested oh, their yeah. father. Yeah. Do you well, see the tragedy? In the being video a went viral. Do so, you, do you see the tragedy? Your dad got arrested. That's how fucked up this world is. They don't want you to do nothing to stand up for your community. They want you to do like Bobby said Obama did, and just like motherfucking Tiger Woods did. They want you to apologize for being a man. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's what this world come to. I'm glad my daughter ain't no slutty ass bitch. Because <laughs> if she was, I'd have told her she won. But she not. I, I lucked up. Right. My daughter is in the hunt, schooling and everything. My daughter going to be all right. right. Mm. You know, speaking of daughters, man, I got a 13-year-old. And the thing that I like about my, my, my daughter is she's cognizant of what I think about her. She cares. So she'll, she'll be listening. Radio will be on. 
And I had one conversation. I said, listen, I'm, I'm going to sit down with you and I'm going to listen to these songs with you. Right here, I'm telling you to drop it like it's hot. That means clap your ass. That means, you know, twerk and do all of this and that. For a drink. Let's listen to the lyrics. He going to buy you a drink. Then you got to drop your ass and clap it. This is what he's saying. Yeah. And, and I explain it to him. And I say, he's talking to all girls in his sphere. Whoever will listen, whoever will respond. Just because it, you said spear, that made her listen to you even more. Yeah, but she understood that. She was like, okay. And now, on her own, I'll come in, come in the house, be something planned that's disrespectful. She'll know that it's disrespectful to me. Uh, turn that off, because I don't want him on my head. You see what I mean? Sometimes we just got to walk our kids through what's affecting them. Well, 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 in response to what you said right there, Zoe, you have a, a, a daughter who, um, fortunately for you, <laughs> what you think matters. Right. No, I'm just saying, what you think matters to her. Yeah. And you happen to know her. Oh, wow. Yeah. Most mm. of these bitches out here ain't grew up with no daddy in the house. Now, the y'all say some dude was arrested mm -hmm. for spanking his daughters. He was broken in but front of them. But he whooped them violently. You got to see the video. It was it was asses. It, ah! Did he punch her? No, it was. He got the video right here. You got to see the video. I'm gonna watch the video during but the first break. I think but he got did, caught. What did he do? He, you know, come on over here now. Get over here now. Right? See, because you, you you know you're wrong. You didn't did wrong. Ha! Sha sha! It was a bunch of <laughs> a ass whooping. A ass whooping. <laughs> so a ass whooping ass. ain't ain't supposed to be violent. No, not violent. Well, how do you how do you discipline a uh, uh, um, how they the teenagers? Thing. Well, what they're teaching, well, well, what the what the thought is, you don't spank a child while you're angry because you're gonna whoop. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. You don't spank a child while I you, don't think you so. spank them while you're happy. You be like, ha, ha, hey man, that was a good movie. Get my daughter in here. Well, typically, no. What typically, the fuck is that? Typically, when you're angry, you lose control, and as they teach in law school, one moment of lost control through anger can change your life irreversibly really yeah you can lose so your you fucking temper spanking? and go off and actually hurt your child well somebody now you want to convey loses, a message you don't want to hurt loses them. their temper and hurts their child i could see that accidentally happening one right. day right maybe one day but when you are spanking <laughs> your child because you are trying to discipline them to be better in this world to have a better survival chance in this world, you don't typically hurt your kids unless something's wrong with you. Well, that's where you got to still have some some modicum of control. Okay, well, whatever modicum is. A little bit saying. of control. Okay. <laughs> you got to hold that shit down. That's where we... Right. Right. All I'm saying is, ain't nobody got no business going to jail for spanking their daughter who's twerking in front of well, the goddamn the second world. Daughter, the second daughter got a whooping like she that other dude's kid, and she lived with them. Her whooping was worse. Mm. I'm just saying, when you see the video during the break, you'll understand what I mean. Well, I, that's why I asked, was he, was he punching them? What was he no. doing? Oh, no, no, yeah. it was kind of like the, that back scene back. in Django, when Django was whooping the slave master with the whip. It was kind of like that. It sounds like Django. the kind of whooping you used to get when you really done tore your ass. And, and what could be worse yeah. than... Twerking your ass for that's the world. Yeah, scary. What could be worse that, than that, twerking your ass for the world? Y'all got to call us up now. It, <laughs> it, we got some calls. If my it. daughter is twerking her ass for the world, that let me know. Oh, they know it's holes in here. It's holes all through this house. In this apartment building, right? right. These motherfuckers gonna come try to take over my house one day because they know it's holes in here. <laughs> I'm running a brothel. Ain't no respect for my house. Right. Well, that's hey, a good Corey, point. we got a new dimension up there, so you can kind of pick and choose what you want to do with them callers. Yeah, man. I see they done took away the uh, the chat. Talking shit. Oh, you can see it. You can see the chat. Yeah, there's the chat. <laughs> Keep the chat. We need them niggas signified. I love that shit when motherfuckers be signified. They be talking about Bobby suit. They be talking about Zoe shirt with oh, they, the hearts I'm on watching, it. I'm watching the ass whooping. Oh, yeah, what is he hitting them with? A, man, that a ain't no that ain't shit. That ain't no damn beat. This That's one a right violent here. ass whooping, huh, Zoe? That, right here. Man, that ain't shit. This nigga is, he getting in that ass, man. He ain't even hurting that little bit. <laughs> He ain't even hurting that little. No. He ain't even hurting no. that. No, it ain't shit. That man. bitch well, kicking maybe her we legs need the up. Volume. Can my we get mama, the volume? my <laughs> mama <laughs> used to pull. My mama used to say, "Pull your pants down. <laughs> Take them off. Get my ass naked." Lay down across the bed. <laughs>
my ass, goddammit, look like a, 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 a what's them sandwiches you smash? <laughs> I know. Uh, uh, raw meat. What it my like. ass. What are them sandwiches you smash? You you buy them and you smash them. It be like it be the flat bread and then the, <laughs> my ass look like a food. My ass look like a panini when my mama got through with that motherfucker. <laughs> That's what my ass look like. <laughs> We hey. fuck up. We ain't fuck up no more. I'm telling you. Was Adam Caroli right? You go to bed, you be scared not to wash them dishes I'm because my mama will wake you up with an ass whooping That's it. for going to bed. Is your night to wash the dishes? Oh, like, yeah. That's, who night is to wash the dishes? 12 o'clock at Everybody night. Everybody be pointing at the motherfucker who <laughs> fucked up. That's his ass. He got to wash dishes crying. Wow. <laughs> Was Adam Carolla right when he said what's wrong with the black community is that we beat our children and punish our children to the space of abuse, to the point of abuse, and and in the attempt to raise and discipline kids, we're actually abusing them and raising abusive adults. That's what Adam Carolla said. What who, do you think? Who's Adam Carolla? It sounds like a Caucasian man. It's, it, it is. Yeah, Caucasian. that's what I thought he yeah, was. Yeah, he is Caucasian. Let me tell you what's wrong with the with the yeah, black lying. community. Talk to um, us. Um, we have been mixed with the Caucasian community. All right, we can take some calls. Ooh. <laughs> that's, that's what's we'll take a break first. Hey, callers. We're going to take on. this break, yeah. then we rolling with it when we come back. 5150. Yeah. Man, that ain't no ass whooping, man. I thought you... This bitches ain't gonna be shit now. Yeah. Hey, we ready? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. How y'all doing? This is the Fetty One Fetty yeah. Show. We got a lot of callers on the line, man. Let's get them in, man. Let's do it. Hey, this is the 5150 Show. What's cracking? Hello? Yo. Hello? 
Hey, what's up, brother? What's good? It's Corey. Who this? It's Nig from Akron. What's good? What it do, man? Akron in the house about an hour Akron, outside Ohio of Cleveland. Akron, in the hell. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, who all over there with you? I got a whole lot of people over here. Uh, hey, check it out, Corey. Uh, <laughs> I say you blame them, them kids' mama for letting up, for them out at night twerking. And they see what their mama do, and they pick up what they see. Yeah. Hey, let me ask you a question. Oh, let me. I just want to give you some more information. What I found out. I found out the brother went to jail because after the mother or whatever heard about the ass whooping, um, she, the mother called the police on the man. Well, the yeah. mama should have had her ass whooped and made her ass twerk while she was locked up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, I agree. Like, hey, Bobby, I ain't get to holler at you last week. That was you that uh, Candy Bar Brown was saying, "Hey, Bobby." What she was that doing that? Okay. Yeah. When she when Candy Bar Brown showed up in the studio. Oh yeah, I didn't know that was her because she was acting. Well, we 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 had a pledge tonight. Uh, we got a moratorium on Candy Bar. A moratorium. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what did you say? A moratorium? Yes. Yeah. Uh, hey, thanks for the call, man. Hello. <laughs> what the fuck? That means death, right? No, no, no. You you saying memorial? No, a moratorium means it's just we 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 we'll put a time out on that bullshit, man. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I want to let everybody know. Please don't talk about that loud. I mean, uh, that lady no more. Uh, <laughs> enough is enough. I was yeah, in Raleigh, yeah. North We're Carolina this week, <laughs> and it was people in the crowd. Where that motherfucking candy bar bitch at? <laughs> <laughs> hey, matter of fact, uh, Drew wanted to mention the show in Raleigh this weekend. Oh, okay. I think he's on line one. Well, get Drew on. Yeah. Drew! Yeah. Drew, this you, man? Yeah, this is me from Raleigh, man. What's up, man? You had a good time at the show? Yeah, man, the show was the bomb, and that's exactly what I called you about. Look, me and my girl walked up to you after the show, and I told you that the watermelon hype sucked, and you started laughing. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. And then it was crazy because you looked at my girl, and you looked back at me hella weird. And I wanted to ask, but I couldn't ask you in front of her. You looked at her like she could get more than the Burbison Co. Factory treatment. You know what oh, your, yeah. Was your girl attractive? Yeah, yeah. She bad as hell. Okay, can you can you uh, email us a picture of her <laughs> to the, um, a new way to motivate at Yahoo? I don't. I don't. I got to be honest with you. I don't remember one girl yeah, in particular. You probably wouldn't, bro. But it was just hella funny because I ain't got a kick out of it. Like. One hey. of my favorite comedians, you know what I'm saying, thought that my girl was dope. But I let me tell you something, man. That, you know when you got a, when you got a, like, chalk her up to the game. Yeah, right. <laughs> when you got a fine woman, man. <laughs> when you got a fine woman, I want y'all to prepare to be out in the street. Let me ask you a question. Was I disrespectful? Nah, man, you was cool as shit. See, I you never. He like, damn, nigga, your your girl bad. And you, you know, we just kept it moving. You know what I'm saying? We kept conversating for a minute. I told you we could never get in on the show. You was like, yo, keep calling and. We kept it moving, you know what I'm saying? That's it's what's real up, cool man. Like that. I'm glad you said that because I never try to be disrespectful to a man when he with his woman or disrespectful to the woman while she's with the man. But it was a lot of beautiful women out there in Raleigh, North Carolina. At the Corey Holcomb show. Yeah, them, them country girls. I'm from the West Coast, though. Don't get it fucked up. California in the building. You know what I mean? All right, all right. That's, That's what up, man. Hey, but look, that leads to my next thing, Corey, real quick, man. Um, we appreciate you. We big fans. We want you to blow up. But we don't. We want you to stay the people's champ. You know what I mean? When you blow big, man, they they get their hands on you just like Kevin Hart was in that dress on Saturday Night Live with his shoulders out, looking gay as hell. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what? You're a real was... nigga. You know, look, I've been through a lot of shows, seen a lot of celebrities. Homie, after your show was over, the last show at 11 o'clock at night, you were standing outside the front door shaking everybody's hands as they left. I was glad him. motherfuckers like came to see me. Like you want us. That's what's up, man. I appreciate the call. And refreshing, homie. You're doing your thing, and you got big fans. Thank I you, appreciate man. it, man. Appreciate the call. I stand outside. I greet the people for coming to see me because that club wasn't used to that motherfucker selling out like that. Uh -huh. So I was out there telling everybody, thank you for yeah. coming to see my black ass. Yeah. All right, yeah. And I want to say this about, I got, I, I'm going to dress it. The, 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 the Kevin Hart and the dress shit. Okay, go I ahead. I want Here everybody out there to understand the pressures that are on people in Hollywood. I'm not making no excuses for no motherfucking body. But All I right. will say this. When I look at everybody who's done it, you know that that dress thing. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just a way. It's a passageway into making money in Hollywood, especially. So you're saying it's for a, black people a rites of passage 
for black talent. We gotta males. Get, we got to get the nigga in the dress. Got to be in the dress. The Rock, a few years ago, Dressed did that up. movie where he was the tooth fairy or, the, or something fairy. Had wings and shit. Yes. <laughs> it was his way of putting in work because he knew. Look at him now. Now he G.I. Joe. Yeah. Now he that other movie where he flexing his muscles. This is what they do to people. It's almost like, motherfucker, look. Here go the plate. You need the spanks you, right, in order to get the banks. You got to taste this shit got it. before we bless you. <laughs> oh, God. And for some people, they'll be like, okay, I'm going to go and knock this shit out, get it over with. Well, let me ask you this. Because is it for I all tell you, men I tell you, or is it just for black men? Well, I know it's especially for black men. Okay. It's especially for black men. I mean, like some of the some of the most... Um, Wesley Snipes was in a dress. To Wong Fu. Wow. How, mm. Who else was in a dress? Cuba Gooden Jr., um, Ain't too many of them. Flip Wilson. To. Yeah. That was his thing. That was his thing. Geraldine. Yeah. Uh, Who else? Jamie. Uh, Who's why, why Jamie? Say Jamie Foxx. Oh, uh, Wanda. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wanda. Who it's, else? It's, it's part of the game, man. Martin. Yeah. Martin did the. Oh, Big Mama's house. Yeah. yeah. He did that on uh, his show, too. Oh, he dressed up as his mama and uh, Shanae. Has, yeah. has Denzel ever done it? Denzel ain't never did the dress now. That we know of. Well, I mean, it ain't that you know whoa, of necessarily. Whoa, whoa. I'm trying to remember, do we ever see this motherfucker in a dress? Denzel? Yeah. I don't think so. What about Will Smith? Was he ever in a dress? That we know of, no. Hmm. But he did do Six Degrees, what was it, Six Degrees Separation? Kiss the Man. Did, he did tongue Kiss down somebody in the, in the movie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh... <laughs> Hey, Big C from Detroit said somebody's girl. He been on on for Come on, man. two minutes, man. Just suck a... this nigga tongue so I can get this paper. <laughs> no. <laughs> Give me that tongue, nigga. Let's get it over. Here. Ain't nothing but a tongue, nigga. I'm gonna be straight though. Gay for the stay. All right. All right. Fine. Here we go. Who next? Big C from Detroit. Ooh. We got a call from the D. My <laughs> man, Big C. Talk to me. What's cracking? What up? What what up, Corey? What it do, man? Shit, what up, Bobby? What hey, up, Joe? Hey. What's happening, man? Hey man, check this shit out, man. Like you're talking about these girls out here twerking. My motherfucking daughter mama tried to put it in her head. Now I'm gonna let you know. This is a ratchet bitch. My daughter ain't number fifteen. Okay. She gonna come to my daughter. No, her motherfucking nigga. Gonna put it in her ear, yeah. You know, your daughter Zaria, she a pretty thing. You know, when she get at that age, you know, it wouldn't hurt, you know, for her to make some money because she in that type of life. Right. So my daughter, my daughter came to me with that shit. I'm like, who in the fuck said some shit like that? You know, yep. and, uh, she said, uh, her baby, you know, her mama, uh, boyfriend, this whole ass nigga named Chuck. I'm putting my black when I see him, I'm stomping his ass. <laughs> and, uh,. <laughs> But you say her mama is a, her mama come from that life, right? Talking to the motherfucking mama and everything. This going to get all smart. Yeah, I done seen it and all that. So I smacked the dog shit out of her motherfucking ass. Keeping it real with you. Oh, your daughter or the... Or the uh, no, no, no. I smacked her, my daughter's mama. Oh, okay. Be down. Shit. I tried to okay, smack that wow. enamel off that bitch teeth. <laughs> yeah, wow. Off real talk, teeth. man. I mean, you don't say no shit like that, dog. Real talk. Mm. So... You know what I'm talking about, man. I, I, I damn. You know, <laughs> that's, just like, that's just like a motherfucking Can man. Can we just talk? Can we, we sit down and, and, and talk? Son, be a punk. Wow. Man, I, hey, man. Shit is that. Mm. And, and you know what? That's a good know. point. I'm glad you called with that. Thanks for the call, brother. I'm, no, because that's another point of view. Zo, you the type who will sit down and talk. And I believe you sit down and talk to because you believe you have that type of relationship with your daughter where your talk is effective. Right. Now, if you got a daughter by a lousy bitch, sometimes you got to body punch babies. Because when you body punch them when they little, they never forget that body punch. <laughs> and they grow up a better person because about seven, when they start feeling themselves for real, you give them that real, uh, that shit, you know, your, your body react because you caught them off guard. Body punches always work when you catch a motherfucker off guard. They always, uh, But at the same time, I think we do have a responsibility to call brothers to the floor to recognize, and you know, I'm not the, listen, I ain't no fucking angel. I done crossed the line a few times myself. But we got to call brothers to the floor to understand that violence is not, 
the greatest solution to the conflict, to the issue, to the problem. A lot of times, you know, we'll use our physicality to dominate a situation. And just because we've dominated it physically doesn't mean we've resolved any of the psychological issues that plague the relationship, whether it's mother, father, whether it's father, daughter, back and forth. We've got to find a better way. Like homeboy said, you know, I smacked her in the mouth. That don't mean she learned anything. That don't mean she's now an advocate of your point of view. That sounds good, So sometimes good, we got to sometimes we got to check men to recognize that that ain't the way we do it. That sound good. But I'm just saying. You, let me tell you what it really is. <laughs> there is no respect for the man and his power in the house. Go deeper. They will always say fuck you the police will come take you out of your house you live if we disrespect you and you don't like it and do something about it wow. that's the problem wow. wow so all that what we need so to you do say that is, don't work it's because not result there's no violence. respect that's what i'm saying so, re so what you're saying is bitches have fallen for the game of the devil <laughs> who set up these laws and they will call upon satan Himself. It will come in the form of a police uniform wow. to take you out of your own house in front of your own people to change the way they look at you forever. So you telling me disrespect only responds for positively to violence. No, what I'm saying A disrespectful is, person. You mean I can't sit and talk to a disrespectful person because they don't respect me. But they will respect violence? No, what I said, and I'm making it clear... Disrespect is trendy Ooh. to twerk in front of a computer so the world can see is a form of disrespect. Wow. Rejecting your father as he is telling you uh -huh. what's negative about that is disrespect. To call the police on the person who gave you life because he handling his business with your ass is disrespect. Disrespect is trendy nowadays. They said the mama did it, though. Well, the mama ain't shit. Wow. That's who she married and had kids by. And then she motherfucking sicking them people on them. Wow. So what that say about her? Well, I'm curious to, as to what G Giselle has to say, our first female caller for the night. We oh, got right. an antelope caller? An uh, antelope? Oh, you see. You're talking Giselle. about Giselle, not Gazelle. Oh, not <laughs> <laughs> what up, man? I was about to say, how Rudolph doing? But what is it? What <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Goddamn caribou. Hey, Brad Khan, Smith, Mr. Corey Holcomb. How is everyone tonight? Good. All right, all right. So you're still a yeah. fan of the show after that introduction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. I've been, a fan. I've been a fan for a while now. I was just calling you guys to let you guys know that I do appreciate the things that you're, you say in your point of view. Mm. I think that uh, we need to hear this more often mm. than not. And... Um, I'm of the mindset that we as a people need to stop externalizing everything. Mm. Look within ourselves. Because if you know what changes the heart, you know what changes the world. Mm. So I, do, I, I just want to tell you guys that I appreciate what you say, what you do, and that uh, I have a lot of respect for you. Whoa. Wow. Thank, Thank you, so you, sister. Thank you for Damn. seeing through the madness, baby. I'm Thank you for <laughs> seeing through the madness. Because it's mad right now. I'm trying, I'm trying to be <laughs> silly, but I am trying to make a point. And it's getting through to some people, you know, because that sister, she sounds like she's probably a very attractive woman who's sure of herself, and she ain't got no problem sharing that respect with other people. I mean, that's just my impression of the phone call. I mean, I put it like this, man. If you are an African-American male, it is very expensive to have a disrespectful woman around. <laughs> well, would you name some of the costs associated with a real man being coupled with a disrespectful woman. What are some of the costs? Uh, bail. That's the first charge <laughs> that you got to handle right there to be able to talk to somebody to listen to you. Bail. You got to come up with bail. If you are in a relationship with a disrespectful woman, stop saving for retirement. Save for, for bail. bail. You're going to need it. You're going to need it. Wow. Start there. Wow. Okay. Anyway. I wonder call? what Tamara got to say. She she saw that video. Probably trying to bring him in all slick. You see, cool, right? I see you done found a lane. You see that? <laughs> Go ahead, Bobby. You <laughs> see what Tamara got to say this evening. Got to say about this right now. Bro, this motherfucker don't mean shit. Oh, boy, go on, ain't he? <laughs> Wow, I ain't gonna put some names up there, Bobby. Like, oh, this is my shit, yeah. <laughs> shit, I done found an avenue. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's go. Is she on? I'm here. Hello. Hey, hey how are you? 
<laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say, oh first of all, like, I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, I'm 25. I've been married for four years, experiencing my first ever pregnancy, graduated at 16, and I was a product of getting my ass whooped. <laughs> like, my mom, she literally, like. Can you turn your radio parents, down? Oh, sorry. Oh. And my mom, she was a single parent, worked two to three jobs at a time, was never on the county. She also was a product of getting her ass whipped. So I don't see anything wrong with the video. I've gotten, like, so it's like I don't see anything wrong with it. Now, the mom, she's wrong. First of all, be happy that your husband is our boyfriend, our baby daddy, whatever you want to call him, is even in your child's life. Mm. My mother would have killed to have my father in my life when I was that age. Would she have killed to have your father? Um, Would she have killed to have your father in your life if he was whooping your ass like that? Honestly, I don't see see anything wrong with it. And my mom, I was, we talked to my mom about it. And when you see the little girls, like, they were, like, what, 12 and 15? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she would have. Like, my mom would have, the first thing my mom would have done is picked up the phone and called my dad. And my dad would have came over and he would have went off on me because wow. you're 12 and 15 years old. Good point. Why don't you have any self-esteem at that age? Mm-hmm. You have, and most people are like, oh, well, they probably don't have a father in their life. Mm-hmm. Those wow. little girls have fathers in their lives. Even- and they still have zero self-esteem does so this it's sound, like no i don't see anything wrong with it whatsoever does, does, does this I sound mean, familiar because i remember my father didn't live with us mm-hmm. my mother mm-hmm. was the first line of defense right but when if it ever got real <laughs> fucked up <laughs> even though her and my daddy wasn't together she'll say you don't want me to call your father <laughs> that I knew, exactly. because that motherfucker ain't gonna play with you <laughs> you see what i'm saying right right it's but different this is gone nowadays uh, now right. it's your, your dad touch you you call the police on him <laughs> listen true, maybe true. this young lady brought up a point Tamara from Los Angeles maybe she brought up a point maybe the impact of the father isn't as dope as we thought it was well, what did you mean because really dope? he's there and they still uploading twerk videos. No, no, no. What no, kind no. of dad is that? Whoa, whoa. We don't know all of the facts. What happened oh, was, I, gotta I don't think he, <laughs> he, I don't think he knew nothing. About, that? I bet right. that's the first time he knew about twerking, and he closed that shit down that time. So you, you're telling me that he put an ass whooping on them bitches like that before, and they still did it? I don't believe that. That's what I'm saying. Well, what he I'm saying is, he on that bullshit for the first and handled it like yeah, a man yeah, will, yeah, yeah. right? And went to jail mm-hmm. for handling his business. Yeah. But do you think that ass whooping will imbue self esteem and self worth? Not hold, hold, after hold. he goes hold, to hold. jail. <laughs> he, he, he went up on my head with that imbue. Come on, with that imbue shit, now. Come I'm on, just man. saying. Do you think it will just imbue? That's a new form of the internet, Bobby. After his, after they see you go to jail for that, it's either going to make or break Good point. Ah, the kids. So that'll say My to the daddy kid. was arrested and for I disciplining had me. to do with it. Right. But a funky little bitch will say, that's why they took you to jail, daddy. That's the motherfucker who took Ooh. after the mama who called him. That's, I got power like mama now. Right. I'll call the police on you if I don't do my own work. Wow. Mm. This is the new world we live in. I'll abuse myself and blame you. Mm. 323-965-16. Somebody call us. Are we in just, we're just in disrepair over here as a culture. Bobby, who the caller? I can't see that far. Hello? Yeah, what's up, brother? What's up, man? Corey Moe, Larry from L.A. What's up, Zoe? What's up, OG Bobby? I got like four points and I'm going to run through them real quick. Come on. Um, If you have the father in the home, then you... Then a lot of people be out of work. The police, the judge, social service, all those people. I worked in the juvenile system for about a year, man. I worked with a lot of kids, man. They are who's who's on a tree of criminals, murderers, pedophiles, thieves, robbers, drug dealers. And a lot of those kids, man, I mean, they were in there for some crimes, some bad crimes, but they all wanted attention. And uh, a lot of those kids, man, they wanted somebody to tell them to go sit your ass down some damn work. You see what I'm saying? And that effect, it was it was it was late that they getting that attention, but you know, me interacting with them, let them know that you know somebody still criminal. You know, you still can change your, you can turn your life around. Right. That's good. Uh, another topic about the whole thing about the men in dresses. Uh, <laughs> I was listening to this uh, radio show. Uh, I think the brother named Tariq Nasheed, and he was talking about pet niggas. 
So mm. I equate that the whole concept of the pet niggas. We put if we put this black man in the dress, he's safe. He's not a threat. You know, you never seen Mel Gibson in the dress. You know, you never seen court. You know, you never seen uh, Superman in the dress. So it kind of it, 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 it removes the whole that whole threat of the black man being a threat. You know, Francis Quil- uh, Wilson talked about it in the ISIS paper. You know. Uh, yeah, the feminizing the black, black ra- the, the black role model. That's yeah, the black the male role model. on TV talking about I don't see nothing wrong with men dog fucking each but other. But <laughs> Superman has on a cape and some underwear, so we can't just see that as masculine either. What, 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 what I'm saying, it's, <laughs> I'm just it's, saying, because tidy whites. What's the what's that obsession with? We have to put. Uh, this man in the dress, you know, at, at his height, you know, we remember Wesley Snipes as being Nino Brown. Shit, we look up a year later, he and Tuan Fu. And uh, Denzel, he never, he was, Denzel, he was an exception to that rule. He, ain't get, he didn't get put in the dress, but hey, a Don. lot of people say, well, you know, he got shot in his ass in a uh, right. training day. And they but, gave him an Oscar know, for it. Just, hey, Don. Larry. Larry. Oh, Larry. I'm, I'm sorry, Larry. Larry. Yeah. This la- Larry, let me tell you, let me say this. There's a difference when we, black men, yeah. put on a dress versus Caucasian man putting on a dress. See, no matter how much people hate to say this, they know who we are. Oh, yeah. So right. when they see us in the dress, they know, oh, we broke that one. Yeah. <laughs> we broke that one. Mm-hmm. That's why yeah. they do it. It's like shaving a lion's mane. Right. Yeah. We're the, we the motherfucking chosen guys. All right? Let's right. just stop the bullshit. If we I can put guys. Pharaoh right. in, in, in a onesie, right. <laughs> I kind of know what I've done to him now. He's broken. It's the coldest, most clever, evil form of mental breakdown. Right. Mm. right. But, but that's the most attractive to man to our women now. The spayed and neutered black man. The shine. Yeah. The fit in, get along, fit in, get along Cassidy kind of nigga. You know, good job. Educated, not Barack to say. Obama ass listen, nigga. not to say education is bad. Not to say having a good job is bad. But to say fit in socially. Kanye West ass motherfucker. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Applesauce booty motherfucker. Nigga, mm. <laughs> <laughs> shit ain't even brown no more. It's like flame. Anyway, oh, my thanks God. for the call. <laughs> hey, Larry, thank you, man. That was some some Fuck very insightful points. that light shit. They so gay. <laughs> So you the shit look like grits. <laughs> <laughs> you got albino dookie. Shut the fuck up talking. Whoa! Hit that man. Hey, who, who is, is that, Mark? That's your, some hey, of your Seattle, one of your Seattle fans. Oh, what's up, brother Mark? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah man. Hey, what's up, OG Bobby? Hey, man. Corey. So what up, man? What up? Corey, man, I, I couldn't see you when you came out here like a couple weeks, uh, what was that, weeks ago, a month or something? Yeah, a little bit out of a month. Wanted, yeah. yeah, I was wondering if you come back out here, man. Um, well, um, when that paper together, <laughs> you know what I mean, brother, when they get their paper right in Seattle. I, just, I feel you, man. How'd you like it out here in this wet-ass uh, 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 city? Um, well, it, it, it's just like the rest of the world. A lot of lost bitches, easy to fuck, blame you for everything that went wrong. <laughs> That's basically what it is around the country, as I have found. I go to my hotel room after shows, man. I don't even, when I was a young nigga, I used to be like, boy, it's a pussy out here, bro. <laughs> now I'd be like, get these wretched motherfuckers away from me. <laughs> I order a bitch online before I fuck with these bitches who's smiling with me. <laughs> get your bum ass away from me. Oh, boy. Oh, oh man. Damn. I just want to say what's up to y'all, man. That's y'all right. Appreciate there, the call. Hey, brother, thanks for the call, man. <laughs> hey, man, we're getting ready to go down in the alley now. Memphis, Tennessee is Uh-oh. on the line. Uh-oh. Memphis, Uh-oh. Tennessee, motherfucker. Yeah. Memphis. What's up, Where's Fox? Where's seasoned ass chicken cooking, motherfucker? <laughs> Tennessee. What's the deal? You Who this? already, boy. I'm finna cook some chicken right, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 that's my people's that's my nigga. <laughs> yeah. Bobby, what's up, OG Bobby? Man, that's my town. You know that's my town, man. What's Shit. up, man? Hey, what, hey, Bob, what's up, sir? Say, team what? Team Lou Rawls? No. Oh, like, damn. Team Lou Rawls. No, that's, that's, that's <laughs> Team Watson, you blind motherfucker. No, they team Lou Rawls? Hey, you need, you need to get 
The camera ain't down low enough, but what's up, okay. though? I respect you, man. No, that's uh, that's your homeboy, Sam Watson, man. Uh, oh, Team okay, Watson. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I heard you so earlier. That's that guy with the box, boxing promotion. Yes, stuff. sir. That's your homeboy, man, putting it down yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah that's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, what's up, though? What's hey, happening, man? Say you look like Jerry Wine Cousin. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga about the funniest cancer. Get this nigga off the phone before we all get sick. He yeah, auditioning, man. Let the man audition, man. Let the man audition, <laughs> man. Oh, no, he's funny. I like it. <laughs> hey, man, what's up? Hey, I, mean, I just want to say what's up to y'all, man. Hey, Corey, man, when you gonna come to the M town? Man, you ain't never came to no real city, man. Who, Memphis? Hmm. Yeah. He was at he was at two years ago for yeah, the. I, uh, I ain't been there in a while, but yeah. when I went to Memphis, man, I had a ball, man. Yeah. I love Memphis. That was, yeah. What was going on that week? That was the Shaq thing you did for the uh, Southern Heritage Classic. Yeah, yeah. man, yeah. Shit, yeah. that shit was yeah. cracking down yeah. there, man. <laughs> Memphis. Oh yeah, I, I was down there tailgating. I was lost in the motherfucker. You was down there in, uh, <laughs> in a three piece suit with some sandals on those cut pants. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> That's what up, man. Thanks for calling, oh, man. Three boy. piece suit with some sandals. <laughs> Play of the two, but yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the city by the river there. Boy. Wow, man! I love Memphis, man. Yes, I have a ball when I go to yeah, Memphis. Yeah. Yeah. Barbecue. Man, mm. all these cities don't think I don't want to go there. Yeah. Shit, I'm trying to get to all these motherfuckers. That's but anyway, right. call us though three two three nine six five sixteen hundred. Corey, I think we got to take a break. You gonna take us out? I think mm. they're gonna show that video. Um, can they show it on the break? Oh, we can show it, right? Show the video on the break of the little mm. bitches getting their ass whooped for fucking up. Mm. <laughs> we'll talk about it some more. Fifty one fifty. <laughs> So is that a whole new board? Yeah. I wonder if twerking would be acceptable. Said, you know a nigga over 40 years old made these instrumentals. That nigga's funny as I wonder if twerping or twerking, I'm saying it like Bobby now, twerking, if that was, if it was a part of the holy dance, would it be acceptable? If it was part of church? I mean, because a lot of people say that style of dance comes from Africa. Well, they didn't get. If you seen them African videos, they be twerking. But what African be videos it in. are you talking about, though? The late night videos where the African dudes they'll be Im rapping. Wow. But they imitate nah, nuts, I, though. That's not the other way around. No, though, you man. know what it is. It's a desperate way to justify bullshit when they <laughs> reach back to the African shit. Because let me tell you something. In those villages, if a man does something underhanded to a woman, the village deal with him. The village. The village deal with him. Not the white man who Im right. imprisoned the village. When a woman is out of pocket, she is basically an outcast in them villages. What do you mean out of pocket? When a woman does something out of pocket, like if she's like, sleeping around sleeping with other around, people, yeah. husbands and stuff like that, she's looked upon as a whore. <laughs> you a whore. Get out of the village, bitch. Walk out there with them lines. <laughs> That's what happens. Is that but what see, in America... <laughs> All what happens is them bitches go out, get pregnant, and destroy another man's life. That's mm. all that happens. Well, they, they don't, don't get they don't go out and get pregnant. The man is somehow involved too, you know. Yeah. Um by nature we fuck. Men will fuck their enemy if it's a female. It's only a way but are we, to keep it, everybody be, in chaos. It's making sure that the ends are never tied when your women are not raised correctly. Because they are the first ones in the kid's face. They sucking juices from the mama out that titty. <laughs> so if you got a whole nation of women who twerking, then we got a whole nation of kids that ain't but shit. But I think we do have a whole nation of women who's twerking, and I just think some of them are working while they're twerking. You, you know, know they, what? They take off the work clothes and go twerk somewhere for somebody, it's for some reason. It's more respectable to be twerking on a stripper pole making money. I mean, me and you are an established whore. But these little <laughs> bitches right here, these little bitches right here won't respect as they walk out their house. Am I right? They want to be treated 
like a woman. But isn't but that the same are, thing that I, most women, most of these independent women do? I they, have a video of you on the internet smiling in front of a camera. Right. Doing something that will make me look at you as, hey, bitch, come here, instead of, hey, how you doing today, young lady? But that's what I'm saying. That's the same argument. Women hate it. Absolutely hate it when we call them bitches, but they call themselves bitches. They call themselves bad bitches. You feel me? So it's for to me. There's a double standard with the women too because they're amongst they're, the thieves. Go go ahead. Thieves among thieves. They could say, "Oh, you, you old stealing motherfucker." That's different. But when you out there in public, you don't want to be looked at as a thief. Ah. So it's the same thing with women calling themselves bitches. You know, we around each other, girl. You can say bitch, but don't be calling me bitch in front of Leroy. I want to fuck his life up and have a baby by him and <laughs> deliver him to the courthouse. <laughs> deliver. <laughs> That's basically what it is. When you wow. insert when you insert yourself into one of these lost bitches out here, you ain't got nothing but drama. Now, I, I'm not taking up for men that ain't shit. Right. Ain't shit men there we need go. to be called out. They need to be They need to be put on blast. People need to know who they are. Right. But First of all, as far as it go with that ass whooping them little girls got, yeah. that ain't no ass whooping you when you call the police on their daddy. So you think, and if you think it is, something wrong with you because them girls was not hurt at all. Do you so think you the even power, said, did you see that violent ass whooping they get? That's I how was I said like, it. Say it again. That <laughs> violent ass whooping. <laughs> can we, re can we re resign, rewind, rewind with Zoe? <laughs> say violent, the violent, the violent. It's going to sound like that. <laughs> and then I'm sitting here looking at this shit. I'm like, this motherfucker is just swinging this lip, whatever it is, um, hey, extension cord or whatever. He ain't even really connecting with them. Now the Xbox ain't even if working. If he deserved to go to jail, my mama supposed to be in prison for what she did to me. Mm. Wow. And my mother would be right next to her. And my mother, I look at my mother, my mother had our back. Mm. My wow. mama would die for her kids. It's just she come from a she come from that type of era where you got to tax motherfuckers when they fuck up. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said I sound like Russell from Fat Albert. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bill. <laughs> it was two things going on uh, <laughs> in the era where whoopings were permitted. Number one, people worked hard. And when they came home, they didn't have time for time out. If they told you to do something, then that was it. That was all. If you didn't do it, you was going to get sanctioned. Because they didn't have all night to go back and forth with, well, I got to worry about their feelings, and we've got to try to... But shouldn't we? It sounds like they were under duress. They were whooping ass under duress. That's violence. That's uh, abuse, uh, isn't it? No, 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 here's what's abusive. When you done worked all day to put the clothes on the back that they're in there shaking their ass out of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, man, let me tell you something, That's man. a good point. Hey, hey, hey Bobby, nah. not only is that a good point. That's a good Bobby, point. Bobby, let me tell you something. These You're motherfuckers out here think that you are supposed to ask kids permission to do shit that grown folks supposed to decide on. I you could be a seven-year-old going to the store now and pick your clothes out. That's what happens nowadays. It ain't like you go buy your kid some clothes to make sure they go to school. Um, you know what I'm saying? First of all, I'm buying these clothes for two years. You're going to grow into these clothes. But now right. they, they got these designer shits now where, you know, they wear them for six weeks and then you're back but in the store again. they brought up by their mama. Oh, hell no. And you met their mama at the club. She was drunk when y'all was fucking. <laughs> and she always wanted a real life doll. Right. How about that? she could dress. How about that? I'm just... Don't let the little boy hair grow. Oh, oh, Jesus. I don't know a little boy who got long hair who ain't got a ponytail when they motherfucker coming up. If that little motherfucker... If she could stretch a ponytail out that motherfucker from age one to seven... They that stretch a ponytail? That little motherfucker gonna wear a ponytail if, he, if his hair grow like that. <laughs> I hope you ain't a little boy who hair grow. Oh, my God. These bitches gonna put you in the ponytail. Don't cut his hair yet. No, give him a... He gotta take his school pictures like this. <laughs> <laughs> that boy grow up thinking he's supposed to have a ponytail forever. We'll never cut that shit. <laughs> but isn't it the dude with the ponytail that has the most power over the girl? Yes. What girl? The girls, because them girls want to mate with him so they child will have a chance at having a ponytail. A lot of bald head bitches be getting their niggas with long hair. Bald head bitches will take abuse. <laughs> you ain't doing I'm going to stomp my throat in, but my baby got a ponytail. <laughs> I can only whisper now, but... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Jesus. We got callers, man. Let's yes, do some of these do. callers. Yeah. Bobby, do your thing.
Hey, this is Ronnie from ATL. I think he's one. Uh, it's a disciplinary brother, I believe. Ah, let's see. Yes, let's sir. Hear it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, see, hey uh, I came up in the seventies, right? Mm mm. And uh, it was a time back in the seventies where if you acting out of line, the neighbors could whoop your ass. Yeah, yeah I remember that. And my neighbor whooped my ass so much, I I learned my lesson before my mama got home. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, Corey, if you check out YouTube and look up this girl named Carmel Kitten, she's twerking inside a Walmart. Yeah. She's twerking in the library. She's twerking by a mailbox. Yeah. I mean, it's certain degree. I mean, I don't disagree with twerking, but you'd be more worried about if your son starts twerking. You feel me? If this you catch your son bad. twerking, then that's when you got a right to beat his ass. The middle of this bitch bed got more nut in it than a healthy 21-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch leak ski. <laughs> wow. And, and if y'all, y'all left out a few people when y'all say the men dressing up in dresses. You left out Tracy Morgan and Ving Rhames. Wow. Yeah, Ving Rhames. But, How are they you know, hurt? And you know what's so weird, I man? Mean, like, I used to have a certain way of... You want some breakfast, Joey? I used to Joey. feel a certain way about brothers like that. <laughs> but you know what, man? I meet a lot of these guys, and I'll be like, you know what? These motherfuckers, they regular niggas, they just gave in because this is what they have dedicated their life to. They want to make their bread. So they got a price. Yeah. I, right. Well, everybody got and a just price. Like, just like mm. that little bro they called, that little ignorant bro they called their last week. What was her name? Nene? No, no, we're, not, we're not mentioning these folks no more. Yes, yeah, just say the oh, okay. stupid bitches. <clears throat> huh? Just say the stupid bitches that called in. Yeah, the stupid bitches that called in last week. Uh, you know and then he, get, and then he so follows suit. Like yeah, the do. stupid bitches that called in. Because they sound better. <laughs> <laughs> he sound like a ghetto, ghetto hood right anyway. I know she twerking on the roof somewhere. Mm, wow. She's probably twerking on public, boy. Yeah, yeah. I want to give y'all some shout outs, though. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of your show. Thank I you, brother. I will be back next week. Appreciate hey, bro, you and the phone you call. calling, man. That's what's All right, up, man. Brother, hey, one more thing. Corey, anybody ever tell you you look like Shaq? No, yeah, I, you know what's fucked up. <laughs> Shaq Bobby told me like I look like him. His role look like uh. Wait, who, who, who Bobby look like? I'll be unsure. Well, who the fuck you look like? This well, nigga well, here. Who, who Bobby look like? I look like Martin, nigga. What? <laughs> <laughs> he said he looked like Martin. Oh, okay. <laughs> he said Bobby looked like something. I couldn't nah, hear. He didn't say my name. He said, I'll be unsure is who I look like. Yeah, he yeah. thought that shit was going to Yeah, he yeah. thought it was. Yeah, yeah damn. I'm going to say he looked like I'll be unsure. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. Okay, we got DJ on, uh, uh, from Texas. Yeah, just move on, Bobby. That's Texas beautiful. Call, that <laughs> well, we missed him last week, man. We we shut him out last week. DJ, you're on the line. That's me. Come yeah. on, man. What's up, brother? Hey, what's happening, man? This ain't DJ. This is Tef Hef. But look, it's, let me holler at y'all. I was oh, I wanted to holler yeah, about yeah. when y'all saying about the fathers being in the crib. Yeah. Let me tell you. I'm going to tell y'all a real deal story. I got a daughter 18. When she was 16, she had the cell phone. I was like, let me check out your phone right quick. She started acting crazy. I grabbed the phone, go in, and she got a little boyfriend sending her these messages. You know, freaky shit. You know, 15, 16-year-old boy going to be trying to get some. So I look at the outgoing, see what she say, thinking my daughter going to be like, nigga, don't come at me like that. You know what I'm saying? This nigga got, she with it. She trying to figure out where we going to hook up at. Right. Nigga, nigga right. man, I took that phone, smash it. The next day she go to school cry. I'm like, motherfucker, if I ever see some shit like this, I'm going to kick you in your ass so hard, you're going to be spitting out shoelaces. Wow. So uh, the next day she go to school crying, and the teachers, them like, what's the matter? They had her call them people at the social services. Wow. So I have to go up there, me, my wife, and my baby boy, we go up there. Dip. They disrespect us so bad. First, we went up there about 4 in the afternoon, nigga. We sat in there till damn near 10 o'clock at night, just sitting in the waiting room. Hey, let me ask you a question. Walk. Let just, me ask you a question. When you talk to somebody, were you talking to a young, disrespectful little bitch when you finally met somebody? <laughs> Where did he go? Hello? Oh, did he get disconnected? Oh, man. Oh, Tap him, call back. Cause you know what, I was I was talking to this girl who works up there at that place where they send you, mm -hmm. and I'm like, this bitch is talking shit. Cause she was she was fucking with one of my homeboys. I'm like, and my boy, she know my boy married. She worked there mm -hmm. at this place where they come counsel you about this shit. Mm -hmm. And my boy dogs this bitch out. You talking to a bitch that's been destroyed when you go up there. Wow. You talking to the motherfuckers. They the motherfuckers going to tell you what you supposed to be doing by your kids. And this is a bitch that ain't going to do right by herself. <laughs> wow.
My boy hit in the wow. row and he married. That's what you <laughs> oh, <about>. dang. <laughs> That's Damn. cool. Bobby, who we got next, man? Half, half, my bad. I don't know what happened to the phone I think call, this man. is on, on line one. We got 100 proof from D.C., and he, he saw that twerking video. Right. Yo, what up? Okay. What do, man? Hi, man. Yo, I just wanted to comment. You know, Corey, you know, you say uh, a lot of times you say they tell us what they what they want us to hear and what, are, what they want us to see. Uh, I'm from Chicago like you from Chicago. But before that, I just want to say how, like, the situation where this this man is disciplining his children and the repercussions of that is him being, going to jail. So who's going to pay the bills? Who Now there's not a man in the shop. There's not a man in the household, you know. There, you know, there's this black man that we call for all the time and say, where's the black man at? This man is not in the household anymore because he's disciplining his children. What's, his, what's his brother's name? Bro, we just going to gonna call him brother. children go to jail or whatnot. That, but do you, them, do you, how, you know what I'm saying? Do you understand that is the plan? They don't want you in the house raising your family. They want you owing their mama some money that you ain't going to never get out the hole with. Wow. They want your children saying to you, oh, he wasn't there for me. They want this. What did you say when you we were on break, Corey? You said they want us to look a certain way. How do they want the black man to look as it pertains to the black family? How they do they want, want us to look? They want you to be so used to looking down, your neck grow four inches. <laughs> they want an ostrich neck neck. They want you to keep your head down. When your head, This is how they used to do us back in the day. Wow. When you look up, when you talking to a Caucasian man, mm. that was a violation. Mm. That was a violation. Hey, now, now they want us to look down towards our women? They want you to look down when you're talking to your kids. Wow. Because your kids had the power to get your Kurt, ass arrested. Kurt, wow. we got a, a tweaker, Twitter, Twitter, twerker. A twerker. Twerk. Man, named Annie Mae. Uh, Annie Mae? From New York on line. Anne Marie. That's Anne Hello? Marie. Hello? It's Anne Marie. Yeah. Not Annie Mae, it's Anne Marie. You, you're a yeah, my name is Anne Marie, not Anna May. Let's get that correct. Okay. Um, what is the problem with twerking? What, tone and delivery. Tone and delivery. Well, Excuse I mean, me? like, no, no, nothing, baby. Keep keep doing your thing. Be you. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. what, what we said, what we said about twerking. What I said about twerking, uh, or somebody said something about twerking in front of your man and all that. I think that you know ain't That's nothing right. wrong with what you yeah. do with your man, but when you're on the internet. And you at are, your daddy's house, and you twelve and fifteen so years old. But if you want everybody to see them, what's the big deal? If at you your what? daddy's house. So respect your daddy. Your daddy's house, please, not your house. Please. You are twelve not years his, old. Mine. L listen to her. All you gotta do yeah, is yeah, listen, listen to me, and yeah, people will tell you who they you? are. Go ahead, baby. Oh, you, you act like your daughter don't twerk or whatever. She, this you show is a home magnet. My daughter, a student at NIU. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Now I'm lying. Please. Bitch, your name Annie Mae. <laughs> I knew that what she called that it Mae. was going to be drama. I knew it. You no, guessed him to meet Ike. <laughs> Ike is right around the corner, Annie. Right. <laughs> this bitch deserves to get beat up. Let me tell you something. Ike is on the way, ho. When she called, <laughs> I knew do. that it was dead. I knew. Wow. She said, hold up. What's the problem? She said something about, first of all, get that out the way. Then I, I was like, oh, yeah. That's one of them. Go. <laughs> she got that attitude. She mad at me. I didn't say nothing was wrong with twerking, oh, y'all. Oh, in shit. In front of your man or twerking in an appropriate, appropriate. But she said it was okay for uh, this girl to twerk in her father's home. And yeah, no, she and wants her father to be able to hear her cheeks clap in the other room. <laughs> and, and, and if you know, I made sure I say the girls They know the 15, walls is thin in those apartments. Yeah. 15 and 12. Oh, and she, but she just wanted to argue and she didn't have nowhere to go, so she just came on out the bag when mm. she was stuck. Wow. People, people, most of the time, those people are not intelligent, man. And all they gonna do, it don't even take them a minute. All you gotta do is just respond to them like you got some sense. 
They ain't gonna be able to hold it because they ain't got nothing to say. Wow. <laughs> wow. They ain't got nothing to say. No, fuck that. <laughs> She's somewhere calling the police on the show right now. <laughs> she gonna file for child support on the ball on the show. I'm trying to take the 5150 to child support. The twerking court. You stupid bitch. <laughs> I hope we get Judge Mathis. That's an emotional ass nigga. You ever watch that show? Oh. I watch his show just to laugh at him. Mm. Well, you shouldn't have did that to her. Mm. Look at this goofy ass nigga. Mm. Mm. Judge Mathis, mm. lame man. I was raised in the street. I went to jail and did my G. Get your puss ass out of here. I seen you in the club walk up to the DJ. Let him know Judge Mathis. Get your puss ass out of here. Oh. You bullshit. Oh well, I'm not. Look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, 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 hell. Mercy. You Come know on. it's about to go down <laughs> in the town. The we got, so we got to take a break. Uh, no, hell no. Yeah. We got to take a quick break. We're we going to take a break or we're going to yeah. get the callers. Yeah. yeah. What's up? Everybody, we got to let everybody uh, know. We got to yeah. set her up right. Uh, man, man, this can't the 5150 show. Like Come this. on. Come in here, man. Oh, we're going to take a break. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Darlene yeah. Ortiz in the house. 5150. Yeah. We'll be back yeah. in a minute. Yeah. I'm on my way to the Laker game. I just it's want to say family that. night. The Laker game. Right. Wow. Hey, man, look, we are so sorry. What I do? What I do? Wait for my face and shit? <laughs> we are so sorry about that long ass break, but the main thing, I'm glad they about to cut that bullshit ass music off. <laughs> I hate that shit. <laughs> Can we listen to a little kid play a ukulele That's help in front you of mellow out. <laughs> ukulele. <laughs> we got Darlene, OG. I That's crashed great. the damn spot. Yes, yes, yes. Gave up in this month, I life. did. I was on my way to the Laker game. I said, I'm going to go down Pico. And then my girl who invited me to the Laker game said, just crash through there. Yeah. You know Kobe that ain't fucking with y'all like that. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. We was talking about twerking, Darlene. And uh, uh, I guess the question we can ask you, if you, if you walked in on your 12-year-old daughter, twerking in front of a camera Oof. for the world to see on the internet. That you pay for. Yeah. Mm. How uh -huh. would you feel about that? What would you do? Because a man went to jail for um, taking an extension cord to his daughter. And oh, okay. Well, my mom used to do that to us, but not for stuff like that. But she never went to jail back in those days. Now you can. Right. But it wasn't even for that. She was just abusive. But I probably would have lost it. Hmm. I definitely would have lost it. Hmm. Yeah. No, I, I, I wouldn't have played. You can't, and especially nowadays. No, it's just way too much. You sometimes you got to use some, certain means. Now I don't know if he was hitting her in the face. No, nah. he, he will her on the butt. He will okay, dance. well you know what? I'm sorry. So said it was a violent ass whooping. <laughs> when you get home, you watch this shit. Well, here, but, and we're gonna see what Zoe. I want all the ladies. You need to fuck with Zoe because if he get in a if he get in a domestic dispute with you, you are not gonna be hurt. Well, You're gonna be laughing see, at him. But Corey, it's he'll throw it. some water on you. He's like, what did you say? <laughs> Let me fill this glass up. <laughs> I'll show you. You take that. Nah, <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Don't, don't let that bullshit fool you, <laughs> no, man. No, seriously, that that's one of those situations. The green eye gonna turn fire red in a minute. That's one of those situations where you can ask somebody that, and you could go ahead and say, "Oh, this Trust is what me. I would have done." You don't know. It's that heat of the moment. It's just that adrenaline. No, you can't. You can't even speculate on what you might do if you caught if you caught your kid doing that. A twelve year old girl. Do you no. know how to twerk? Do I know? Yeah. Come on, darling. In private? Sure. In pri wow, you look just at that. Ask if you, you see knew what I mean? Stop playing. It's see? yes or no, darling. No, 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 no. But a real it. woman ain't finna twerk on the camera for everybody exactly. to see. Exactly, in private. That's a woman who really needs oh, some attention yeah. who's twerking on camera. And it's, they, they call it twerking now, but I mean, it's been around for days. What back was the, the old day. school name? You know, like the know? freak or the dog when you used to get on the ground and do there that. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Got a dog. Yeah, yeah, you still twerked on camera right there, though. We got a little bit. Look. <laughs> <laughs> we with you guys, though. Well, how old were you when you did the Ice T covers, those albums? I was over. I was over eighteen. Right. I met when I was seventeen and a half. So uh -huh. I did the first one when I was nineteen, and the Power one when I was twenty. And what did your father think, 
or your mother think of those pictures? Did they think they were a little racy, a little extra, or did they well, think it was like I, modeling or something? I was pretty racy. I was already, you know. No, you was bad than a motherfucker. I, I was, I, no, I, I did. I it dressed, was a problem. I dressed pretty risque for yes. my age back in those days. We um, see the whole outline on you. No, they, they, the didn't cow, have, the covers. they didn't have too much bad stuff to say. My dad just said, you know what? He's a nice dude. I met him. Mm. He cares about you. He's good to you. Gone. And he gave me like his blessing. He's all right. So for your fans, oh, what's the first album cover and the second album cover so they can look it up right now on Google or something? Oh, the first one is Ryan Pays, and I was 18. Yes. And then the second one was Power. Yes. I want to say this, though. That, that, yeah. That's interesting. If, I got, if I'm with my lady and I take care of her and we take pictures in bathing suits for an album cover, I look at that a lot <laughs> different than some fucking... Girls twerking when they little kids in front of the camera. And filming it right. and uploading it to the World Wide Web. Well, first of all, she was a grown woman at the time. She didn't really need anybody's permission. Right, right. because I think most people would That's be hypocritical if they say they don't look at stuff like that. Because I, I, I'm going to say this about me. I like to go to strip clubs literally just to look. It's like, it's like I pay whatever they charge to get in there to look <laughs> at all the different women naked. And then after about... 10, 15 minutes, I'll be ready to go. <laughs> but you don't give a lot of money that and stuff like that, right? No, you don't play yourself. I can't yourself. do it. Right, I will that... buy some pussy for I give it away. <laughs> That's what I tell them. I'm not going to throw no money on the ground <laughs> for you to walk away with. <laughs> and that, right, I will buy them You're going to walk away with the danger that I put you in. <laughs> you know all those guys in there are jokes at the end of the night. All those guys are those girls' jokes at the end yeah, of the night. Yeah, they tricks. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. I can't do it. I just yeah. like to go look, and when I'm through looking, I go. Yeah. So, Corey, what about the girl that's on YouTube right now? Queen twerking. She, like he said, they twerking in in the Walmart. They twerking in the church. The With, church. In the here's the video. Right here, somebody just sent it to me on Facebook. Twerking at church. They twerking everywhere. This one girl, Queen. She getting a bunch of you know YouTube visits and hits. Ask yourself, is is that wifey material? What if she say, I'm just mm -hmm. dancing or I'm just being funny. This is just a way to get attention. There she is there right she there, right. twerking at the mailbox. I can't see it, but uh, it, it's just it, desperate attention to me. Yeah, now you, you took you, the words on my mind. Desperate mouth, attention to me because there's a lot of things that you know girls can do where you, you oh look, see. I you know, knew like, she was gonna look like that <laughs> before you showed it to me. <laughs> it's a bitch with a halfway decent body, right? But the wolf face. <laughs> you can't even see from it, girl. Ain't That's why she, she got on the shade. Liking. <laughs> Bad bitches don't hide their face. <laughs> that bitch got on them big she ass got blue big blockers. She got some big sunglasses on. To hide all that shit that you're not going to prove of. And she got the little loose, loose dress. Anytime we want to make something look like it's right. moving a lot. That's one of them girls you can't oh, wow. wait till you get in that argument. Movie Magic by Darlene. No, I'm, I'm a girl, I know. So I you, know. Wanted to wear, you, know, you wear like the little loose little A-line dress like she has on right there. So the second she's moving, it makes it look like it's doing but look at triple her. time. Look at her. Nah. Oh, bless what? her heart. Twerking right. by the mailbox. <laughs> okay. Out in the street. Oh, that is just But sad. you can't call her a bitch. She'll go off. You disrespectful black man. You don't disrespect your queens. Can't call queen. her a bitch. She's she disrespecting herself. So you know. Did she say she was a queen? How many women out there disrespect themselves and then flip it around and say, I need to be respected? And don't get angry. That's my thing. See, own it. Like that like that one girl speaking of loose talk about bullshit. Right. <laughs> what was that? The girl that's putting old boy Siva out on blast because she was his side chick. Right? She's owning it. That's the first girl Who in a long Siva? time. Who is Siva? See, the guy that just won. Uh, oh, from U of L? Exactly. The young, hot dude, you know, he's going to be... be Basketball player, exactly. little point guard for University of Louisville. Oh, oh, the point guard. What about him? What happened? Anyway, a girl who's been out in the industry for a, for a while now, allegedly, he's one of her jump-offs. And because she's been in the industry, known, you know, sleeping what around do you with mean, all these industry. Guys. She's a porn girl. No, because she claims she's never, <laughs> she's claimed she's never did porn, but she gets with a lot of dudes that have money. But she's owning it. So other girls might go, you know, they'll so deny why it. Why would she put it out there now before he gets a no. NBA check? Mm -mm. See, she's the opposite. She she claims she's upset because he gave he gave thanks when they won. He gave a thank you to his girlfriend and Jesus for helping his dreams come true. So she wanted to make her presence known and try to interfere with his life. Right, but then when what they What a dumb bitch. Thank you. But he ain't they, even got a check yet. And when they called her out, though, she claims, oh, I'm not all about, you know, he can say I'm about my money, and she's claiming he didn't pay her. 
she's claiming she gets paid. She's a businesswoman, and that what he didn't pay her. She in? And in that, like she messes with Clavin. guys. I'm I'm mess with guys that have dough. She's she an says. amateur because she put him on blast and ain't gonna get paid for it. She's claiming that that's their claim. Well, that that's why she's mad at him. But she's saying that. Um, He's trying to get at her. Now she's saying he just tried to get at me, um, that they never really did anything, and that because uh, she's trying to diss him now, saying that now uh, co- collegiate players are not in her game. Like, that's be- beneath me. Man, he done skeeted all <laughs> over that bitch, and on top of that. On anyway, top of that, but see, but girls because like he that, didn't she's mention trying to get attention. Her. But see, she's trying to get attention. That lets you go. know she's got emotional issues. Mm. Oh, hell her yeah. Her name wasn't said. Any girl that's messed around like with the all these guys is at the mailbox. It. She's I'm twerking it. in a church. No, I mean, like, uh, the dude who just sent me the video of twerking in the church is uh, informing me. I don't know if this is true or uh-oh. not, but he's informing me that... The video of twerking at the church is the video of the girls who got the ass beaten by the daddy. No. What? That it's the same girl? was twerking at church? The video oh. twerking at church is the video that the little girls was making. So you're telling me, no, 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 no. no that lady in that red dress ain't 15 years old. No, old. not her. Not her. Not oh. her. The, the video that the dude just sent me. He said, this is the video of the girls that got their asses beat twerking in the church. That's the girls. And that's why he uh, put the beat down on So it seems to me that they done had other videos that they've done. He just came in on their latest production. Oh, and the last one. I bet you ain't going to see them twerking no time soon. (laughs) Yeah, you don't see them bitches twerking. Not twerking. Not in in his house once he get out of jail. He in jail. (laughs) So his power was taken once he went to jail is what Uh, you're saying? This man. You don't think that's the reason to get away from a woman who called the police This man is going back to jail if he catch them gals at his house again shaking their ass like that. I mm. bet you. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I bet you. Anything. Uh, well, everybody well, got a break trouble. Boy. You know how that goes once you get your I pen. mean, you in jail. You got arrested. You, can you imagine what it feel like to get arrested in front of your kids? For that? Yeah. Uh, it didn't bother him. He'll yeah. go back to jail. That man now will fact, go back to jail. In fact, he's going to use that to the kids. Like, he'll look what happened. Look what just happened to me because you got He'll it. go back to jail. That man now, because he knew the camera was running. Mm. If he was trying to get away with that shit, he'd have shut that camera off. Did he know? He had to know. He they, ran they, in, but that's what I'm saying. See, it's like know. it's 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 instinct. It's like he just went in. He that man in. right there, he's talking about everybody, but that man right there, that's one of them people that'll look you in the eye and say, I don't give a fuck, I'm going to jail about this. You're not gonna do this in my house. He had no control. It was just <laughs> There's a few folks that feel that way, Carl. No, I'm just saying yeah. I feel like he handled his business, but when you are laying oh, up in shit. jail and you are uh you know, missing work, you gotta pay money. You know, jail costs money. Mm-hmm. You know I know. All this shit that goes on, how are you going to go back and look at a bitch that called the police on you? Mm. Mm-hmm. How are you going to go back? <laughs> what are you going to say? When, okay, you out of jail. You at home. Well, they can't be that in. That's what I'm saying. What them little girls going to say? They can't well, live here. I'm just letting you know we've been twerking since you've been locked up. <laughs> and you start some more shit here. They got to go, man. You get the fuck out there. of our house. If you interfere with our business enterprise one more time. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pay for it anyway because you took a chance on our mama. Oh, <laughs> we took a chance on our mama. <laughs> right. You chose our mama, so your life is over. You got twerking bitches in your life whether you want it or not. Oh. Oh, my God. Just be current on the child support, and we good. Right. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, look, unfortunately, I got to get going. Okay, Darlene, well, Darlene, we appreciate we you stopping by. We wanted you to by. stick through the yeah. whole break, but yeah. go ahead. Oh, yeah. really, Corey? I hope you yeah. come up up there at the Lakers game. <laughs> <laughs> Who they play tonight? I don't even know. It's New Orleans. Going. New Orleans, yeah. Got to get the tall dude with the big eyebrows. He's going to have some paper in the long run. You got paper in the long run. Whatever. I'd rather take the parking lot attendant, man. No, nah, David West is more her speed, man. Who is David that? West? Is he big, older? No, nah, he's a big busty I don't brother. like that. I don't like big busty dudes. They can't move. Yeah, I don't I mean, like I'm, that. You they can't you move. Up on I, don't, I don't like This shit's about to go bad guys. right now. I mean, he's a big, thick brother. I thought you liked hey, the What'd you say? He's thick, Bobby. Hey. <laughs> he's big, okay. He's All big, right. thick, Bobby. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about anything other than a goddamn description coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, you say he a big, thick brother. Big, big I don't know how old. You, like, you think his arms are thick? Is that what you think? You think his arms are thick? <laughs> <laughs> wow.
Is, is he, man, is he really massive like, to you, Bobby? He's massive. <laughs> Check this guy out, Bobby. Really no, give me a big man. word for for for. He got this bad, for, man. For <laughs> is he enormous? <laughs> Ooh, he's enormous. I could have thought of that. So I was oh, Lord. Lord. We done went off the guy. Gargantuan. Oh, gargantuan. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. He's silly. Anyway, I got to roll. Go oh, get your gargantuan on, darling. <laughs> I was waiting for an invite, but that never came, so I just had a crash. The spot. Man, look at darling. That's that little female shit. You know that's some bullshit out there. Bye, everybody. Waiting on the invite, so she crashed the spot. Uh, yeah. That's what they do if you don't <laughs> yeah. give them their poppers, they'll up. show up at the crib. <laughs> With them peoples. Right. <laughs> Three weeks in a row, man. Right. Uh, <laughs> females are just damn. run up in this motherfucker. <laughs> see? Oh, okay. See, that's what I had to do. Well, I won't do it to you guys anymore. I'm oh, anymore. She won't do it anymore. Uh, like she was doing it to us before. Shit. You know we fuck with you. You the one who you know disappeared. That. Yeah. You're mean, Corey. Yeah. Oh, disappeared. Man. You went on your little trip. Yeah. I thought you told me you had was going to move in with that nigga in Wyoming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anybody. I'm you single. You said your paper was low. I'm you single and I'm looking for a sweetheart. So <laughs> don't even adore me. Uh, so wow. is your whoopie will go to jail? <laughs> All right, dude. Hey, that's Darlene Ortiz, y'all. All right, go that's ahead and make it I got the people on speed dial. <laughs> Darlene, homegirl, worked for the Lakers, and she Darlene has um, trained her homegirl to lose weight, so she lo- looks more attractive than they. What's the girl name? The Laker oh, we boy. Can't say her name. Mm. Right. I'm just talking. Shit. I don't know what that is. I'm talking shit. It was back good on to the see stick, her motherfucker, again. Bobby. Yeah. Huh? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, now, before y'all start off that bullshit right now. Okay. <laughs> oh, what that say up there? Somebody say Bobby like meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one rule I'll be able to just refute just by waking up every day. <laughs> By myself, okay. I will a woman because it ain't gonna be nothing in between. No, I don't believe you got no sweetness in you at all. It ain't Bobby. gonna work for me, man. I I kind of wish I could have done some of that shit and got paid, but it just hold ain't on, in me. Hold on, hold on, now. It I ain't in to me. People when they talk, <laughs> and I'm gonna okay, <laughs> finish this. The fucking nigga, that's what you just said? Did you see, say that? Did you see? You told me not to talk over him, and then I got to cut this nigga off when he go that goddamn far. No, I'm gonna give you a chance to, to explain finish. what you okay. said. I said I wish I was made out of that kind of cloth in this day and age. The fucking nigga. No, 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 no. To just be more open-minded, but I can't do it. I just can't think like that. Now, oh, okay. Now you okay. put the period behind that. No, I'm okay. saying, like, when you say open-minded, you open-minded mean, like, open minded Open-minded meaning that I... I <laughs> Okay. You, you gonna you tell me? Joe gonna... fuck with you? No, I'm listening. to <laughs> No, you not. You finishing my sentences, man? No, you oh. said open-minded. We want to know what you mean about open-minded. I wish I could be more open-minded, but since I'm not, I'm stuck in the skin that I'm in. Right. I'm not that open-minded to be as accepting of that kind of behavior or being able to trend into that kind of behavior. <laughs> I understand what exactly what you mean, but I want to make sure that I'm not saying this wrong. Are you saying on the 5150 show, Bobby, that you wish you were more open-minded to fuck with niggas? No, no. Okay. Hell no. All right. Well, I'm asking you. No, no. You Come on, saying, man. Stop. No, I'm asking him. And I'm not talking over him. No. He said he wish he was more open-minded to in do this what? Day, in, I said to live in this day and age. You live in this day and age. No, I'm still stuck in my generation, man. No, but you alive right now is what he's saying. I ain't asked you to tell me what he said. (laughs) I'm just saying, God damn, this shit is getting crazy. (laughs) (laughs) No, it's very simple, actually. This is so confusing for me to try to adapt to what's going on that it would be better if I could, but I can't. Now, so what, what part of that don't you understand? I'm trying to make sure I'm not misunderstanding well, you. It, Do you. I know that you not the type of nigga who I'm will not. fuck with a man at no all. No way. No, but you no. wish you was? No, no. That ain't <laughs> what I said. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just making sure. No, no, hell what, no. Am I missing it? You're missing it all together. Go I to the call of some motherfucking shit. This shit is hilarious. This shit is hilarious. Because this nigga too good at that kind of bro. Right. You know what I mean? I'm fucking Are with you Bobby. saying that? That you? <laughs> I should have shut him down. Who's on first? <laughs> yo, yo. Hey, what up, Carl? Oh, shit. Hey, man, what's going on, man? We only got a couple minutes left, but we got to adjust Magic Johnson gay ass fun. I couldn't hear. What is he talking about Magic Johnson, sir? Oh, so yeah, put that shit out there. We don't have too much time left. So he's probably going to be the first nigga to be pregnant ever. 
<laughs> what? what? Is, is Did you say pregnant? When the nigga gets sick, pregnant. his daddy already got medicine at the house. <laughs> That's what up. That's what the 5150 show is about. <laughs> That's why I don't get mad at them girls when they call here with their little attitudes. The only problem is Well, she on the line still. They cannot Where? They, here's the problem. The the girls who are upset. Can you please learn to compose yourself and speak in a way where we can have a conversation instead of, well, you shouldn't have been liking it, Dad. I mean, lady, what what, what is your point? You just want to yell like you do at home? That's what I'm saying. Like okay. When, when them girls, if you, if you don't <laughs> like what we're saying, we cool with that. In fact, you can call here and give us a piece of your mind, but if you have nothing to say, uh, it's going to get old fast. Wow. It's some people who know how to argue their points. Right. But I'm just saying, we get a lot of little, I know that was a young girl too. That wasn't even, that couldn't have been her real name. If that's her real name, ain't nobody going to want to march with her on prom now. <laughs> <laughs> the people who had her height, they mama go protest. I don't want my son marching with no Etna bitch. <laughs> Anna, Anna Marie. Anna Marie. We yeah. don't want this It's shit. Anne Marie. She's still on the line right now. She's a twerker is what it says. Maybe we should go back to her and give her another opportunity. <laughs> you know how that works out, man. Every time we do this. Let's try again. We are open. Is she still on? Why y'all be putting this? <laughs> Hello? Anne Marie, are you ready to talk oh, to no. us? Oh, no. That's not that half of No, oh, okay, no, 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 no. Well, who is Thank this? You. This, this is Danielle. All right. Oh, okay. Danielle. How are oh you? well, actually, I might as well comment on that um, to Anne Marie. I want to say to her and to any other woman listening, if you are a woman who twerks on the camera and then you record it and you put it on the Internet, you are destined to be a hoe. Mm. Mm. Okay? It's like a and hoe's they, resume, right? Yeah, that, that's that's the prerequisite of, of hold em is posting hold person em. videos on the Internet. And she can get mad all she wants to and mm. yell and curse. And I bet you if you check her mouth, you're going to probably find two or three gold teeth. And her Ooh. stomach going to have four or five uh, C-section scars on it. Ooh, damn. Damn. <laughs> wow. Are you a surgeon? Because you just carved this motherfucker up like a Christmas ticket. <laughs> this, this is, in my opinion, this is a Jack, woman. That's a woman. A appalled. By somebody who is a female this, making a fool you out of the female race. I agree. Exactly. Where you calling exactly. from, sister? I'm, I'm listening to her yelling, sounding just real, just ridiculous. Speaking what? on the phone, what's wrong with twerking? Mm. I twerk. I'm like, okay. Well, she's speaking for the whole society, but the rest of the normal, regular, everyday women with common sense and intellect mm. will mm. not ever... Mm. Post a picture of themselves or mm. video uh, bent over, shaking their behind mm. for any type of gratification. Mm. Wow. Great point. Great woman. Where are you caller. calling from, sister? South Carolina. I'm All telling right. you, boy. Mm. Yeah, Thank man. you for the call. Appreciate I mean, it. You can, hear the, you can hear the home training in her. I really don't think we saying that because she was agreeing with us. We were saying that because she conducted herself and spoke like she was about something. Mm. Right. You could disagree with us and still right. speak and conduct yourself like you about something. Right. But I'm just saying. Are there like more female callers out there who'd like to represent themselves well? 323-965-1600. Please feel free to call in and talk to I, I, hold us. Hold on, but I do want to say this is the 5150 show. We loco up here. If you a lousy bitch and you want to vent out, we we want you to do that too. We love when you make a fool like yourself. How do they know if they lousy? They'll never know they a lousy bitch until one day they hear themselves. They gonna record the show. They gonna be like, "Was that me?" So we're providing a service, right? We will allow you to hear yourself back, so you can discover. They, they play the show back and they find out they ain't about shit. Okay, what's that? What's that young lady's name from Everybody New York? I don't know they ain't about shit. Who? What's her name? Maybe she's gone. No, Chris. Hello. Oh, Chrissy. hey, Chrissy. Hi, how are you? Good. Hey, Twist, Christy, how are you? Christy? <laughs> I'm good. That's uh, good to hear. That's what's up. Um, I have two concerns. One, about the woman that just called earlier. First off, she's saying that the girl anime that called was wrong. Okay, she was wrong about certain parts. But the same women being the music videos twerking, and you guys will always turn in to see a big bitch 
twirl her ass on fucking cam. So I'm not saying that it's wrong. I'm saying that don't, you know, don't down it when you guys... Go ahead and have I no see problem. What, I, I see what hey, Chrissy is saying. Wait, wait, wait. Chrissy is saying. Would you your father's house? Would you, would you be twerking no, 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 at no, your no. daddy's now, house? One, them bitches should have got their asses whooped because you ain't going to be in my house popping your ass. I'm going to pop your ass and show you how to really twerk that shit. But, but Chrissy, wait, Chrissy, yes, are you Kitty? saying we should respect it when twerking is a means of it. being gainfully employed. Like, but this is her gig. So now we should respect it. The same hoes be on the goddamn music videos making money, popping their asses, and them same hoes that twerk it be on the pole at Magic City, dropping it like it's hot, and y'all throw ones at them. So don't make it seem like twerking is ah, all She's calling bad. out a double when standard. Like, yeah, yeah but she's at calling the same time, I, I don't, don't throw ones at hoes. I just look at I always him. Put, I always put it this way. And, Corey, <laughs> you know, I understand your daughter's in NYU and so forth. I just want you to have this in the back of your mind at the same time. What she shows you may be great and wonderful, but your daughter may be in her dorm room, dropping it like it's hot, hot, lock, and dropping. It's true. Okay. Can I say this it's about true. women? This Don't is what I noticed about... Say my daughter uh, goes to NYU. Okay, the tone is changing. Hold on. <laughs> the t- hold on, Chrissy. The tone is changing. Chrissy is fine. I just want to say this. <laughs> this is not a coincidence to me. One day I was walking with my stepchild, and this was when she was um, probably around about 13 or 14, and some lady who saw my show or something walked up to me and said, I was in a restaurant at Pollo Loco. She said, is that, your, is that your daughter? I don't know this lady from wherever. And she said, and she asked me, was it my daughter? I said, yeah, that's that's my daughter. I just said it because I don't know the bitch. She said, that shit you be talking, all that shit going to happen to her. <laughs> I was like, Everything so, you do. It's my opinion that women are envious of other women in your life hmm. if you speak anything about women. They're like, well, what about them bitches you're around? It's always that way. It's a deflection it's, instead I'm not, of just... I am not naive enough to think that my daughter is some angel. I'm not naive, but I am just saying this. It feels good to know that your child is not only um, where she is supposed to be at that age, hmm. um, her grades show it, her attitude short, even if it is only around me, that lets you know she there is some you. respect. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, it's a lot of bitches out here who don't, they do, they do that shit in front of their daddy or anything. But if they were raised in a situation where the mother marginalized the father, they always going to not necessarily show that respect to the father. They'll show it to the mother. Like you said, I choose mom. Mom, my daughter's mother always marginalized me around her. She did her best to pit her pit our daughter against mm-hmm. me but i never talk bad about her mama mm-hmm. obviously my daughter's older now she ain't stupid all that shit you was talking about Corey, mm-hmm. and you the bitch mm-hmm. Corey, productive you doing the, my 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 daughter mama ain't doing nothing but hating on my daughter and me <laughs> <laughs> that's her job now <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> she don't like my daughter because my daughter doesn't Act fucked up around me and talk shit to me. Wow. Wow. My daughter's at attention when I'm around. And I'm not saying it's like, I know it ain't like that. But do you think mothers are actively trying to make the fathers that don't live with their, you know, family or whatever, do you think they're actively trying to make them into second class parents? Do you think that's happening? I say this. It's just like I said last week. I go back to the same shit. 75% of them. That's my opinion. They don't want a, a, a positive light shined on the man. Why? Be, because of jealousy. They stuck with the baby. And that's some shit nobody ever really wants to say. Babies are cute when they little. <laughs> they stuck with the baby. They stuck with the baby. Wow. And there are a lot of men, in my opinion, that will take on the responsibility of their daughter if they know this ain't no back and forth shit. You can't have her when it feels good. <laughs> give me that responsibility. I'll handle it. That's always been my but thing. But if they give you the responsibility, they relinquish the control. Right. Oh. You took the words right out of my mouth. Wow. So that no having control of you makes them bitter because you're out living your life they pregnant, they can get a baby. Or that's the way God made it. Slicing big hunks of government cheese, making right. cheese toast. Yeah. 
God damn it, yo. Yeah, I'm out. I'm here taking care of your ass. Your father out fucking bad bitches. <laughs> oh, God. You ain't shit either. Right. Wow. That's then bad. the abuse kicks in. Yeah. Towards the child. Somebody call us. 323-965-1600. I, I, did I did I sound like I was saying my daughter was an angel? Cause I ain't mean to say that. Yeah. Cause I know ain't no motherfucker no angel out here. Nah. But nah. I know one motherfucker thing. <laughs> Who we going to? When I'm older, my daughter will be able to take care of me. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my daughter will have the means to take care of me. Go ahead. We got callers. We we got any more? We got any more? We got any more callers? Yeah, we rolling. Let's roll. Porter said we gonna roll a late today. Yeah, oh, okay. Of the, uh, the, 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 the sound went out. Oh, okay. Some shit. Okay. So who we going with? Hey, you, you got the. Hey, what up? Who there? Is this DJ? What up, Corey? What up, yeah, bro? Corey Sport DJ from Texas, man. It's all good, man. Oh. What, what up, up DJ? For letting that shit ride. Hey, old girl from New York. Well, that bitch is the product of tequila and an uncle who used to babysit every other week. <laughs> 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 that shit that's, I believe that shit, too. On the most, most serious side, Corey, as far as the discipline goes, I just wanted to comment because like, I just made 27 last week. Less enough to make 27 last week. And my grandparents, you know, they, they raised me. So I think that generational gap definitely plays an intricate perspective as far as uh, discipline goes. Because I never, like, I mean, I wasn't a fuck-up kid, but at the same time, you know, I got my fair share of ass whippers, and that didn't make me want to call the police on them. You know, I knew it was out of all, out, all out of respect. Yeah, mm. I feel you, man. Respect and you know for what? ass whooping. Well, I'm just saying, it's like the the the, the mentality yep. out here nowadays is different. The mentality now is you a bad nigger. Mm. <laughs> that's basically how they make us look. In my opinion. Wow. We got that's, that's um, a good point. Thanks for the yeah, call, good Maria. Point. On line two, Maria, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. What up, Maria? Hello? Hello. Maria? 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 All right. Where we going? Number four, I Will. What up? What's going on? It's I Will. What's right. up, brother? What up, Bobby? What up, Porter? Hey. What up, Doe? What up, Court? You got right. it. What's happening, man? It ain't nothing happening, dog. I'm just calling y'all boys, uh, man. Uh, I heard y'all talking a couple of things, my nigga, but I ain't gonna lie, I'm sitting there smoking, man, refresh my mind. <laughs> I feel you, man. I know how that goes. <laughs> uh, we talking about twerking. We was, uh, we was talking about um, that girl on the internet um, with her sister in the room um, posting videos of them twerking. They're underage. They're 15 and 12. The one who mm -hmm. daddy called him and beat him. Yeah. Man, you know what? Uh, you know, I'm a grown man. I might want to go to the strip club and see it, but, but as a grown man, you can't allow your daughters to do it. Is that the double standard, though? Hey, no, that's not the double standard. It's the rule, man. You know, what you, it's what you're trying to raise. Just because I do it don't mean you go do it, and, and I'm grown and so, you die. Do as I say, not as I do. That shit works for about three hundred. You say it like it's a question, but it's it a, is it's a question. It's, it is a question. Yes, it's a question. Not it, not it, not in my house. It ain't. <laughs> I'm asking <laughs> y'all the question. question. No, it's uh, not a question in my house. Well, yeah, that's, well, I mean, it's not a question in the house of a, in the household of a man. Uh, OG Bobby, you're right. But if, if it wants to be posed, then the answer is, God damn it, they're gonna do what I say. So oh, that's real too, and we appreciate that call in that and that thought. But Zoe, let me ask you a question: hmm. Can you be a productive hypocrite? I think most people are functioning hypocrites. That's what I'm saying. They make it crack. They make it, it make it work. If you see me drinking That's alcohol. That's Christianity. If you see me drinking alcohol <laughs> and I talk about not drinking alcohol, um, it's my opinion People who run with the fact that you drink alcohol, that's the point they drive. It's like they just trying to justify bullshit. Right. That's I, all I'm saying. I go saying. with that. Especially with kids. I go with that. And I, I do want to say this about people getting paid in entertainment who are doing a lot more than twerking. But we'll just say twerking. It's different. It It's not right, but it's different. If you are making a living at the strip club, I'm just saying I don't think it's right, but it's more respectable than a bitch who's stripping for nothing. <laughs> well, it's, it so really it's kind of like an upgrade. You getting paid? Well, I respect that. you. It don't make it right. It don't make it right, but <laughs> but 
it's respectable now that it's you get paid. It feels good Listen to be able to, to pay us. your own bill. Well, that's, that's a choice. But see, when you're 12 and 13, you, you don't have those options because by law, you're staying with me. If I put you out, then that's abandonment. They're going to come get me. I've abandoned my child. You understand? But if you 18 and you and you stripping and twerking and all of that, that's a choice. But that don't mean that you wasn't raised differently. If somebody plants those seeds and say, look, this is right, this is wrong. But when you get 18, it's your life. It's your life, legally and every other way. But up until that point, and you're up under my roof, then you don't get to come in here and tell me how you're going to do stuff. Right, because what it means is, as parents, and this is why I explained to my kids, I am a dictator, right? When you're young, you don't make decisions. I make the decisions, right? But as you get older, I don't mind shifting into, you know, leaving the dictator role alone and shifting into mentorship. Because now you're old enough to make decisions, and now I want you to feel what those decisions feel like. But if I try to control those decisions when you're trying to make them, now you don't get the real experience. I'm a mentor now, and I say, hey, I advise that you do this, this, that, and the third. Now, if you, you don't believe me or you don't listen to me, watch. Go on out there and feel the sting of your decision, of your decision-making process. That's what adults have to do. That's what parents have to do. We have to learn how to transition. Sometimes we don't transition well. We try to be remain the controller in our kids' lives. We try to choose who they should date. We should try. To, we try to shoot, choose who they should marry. Choose the work they should do. At some point, you got to let whatever lessons you planted in the child work by by their operation of it, not by your supervision of it or your your final you know signing off of it. You got to let them go and let them make the choice. You got a time in a child's life to mold them. Once that time has passed. That motherfucker ain't going to be worth shit if you wasn't on top of your job. Now, I do believe there are people who are born fucked up, born bad. I wouldn't give a fuck how you molded their ass. Them motherfuckers ain't going to be shit. I believe that. But what I'm saying, for the most part, if you mold a child the right way, they're going to be all right in life. They're going to be all right. Yeah. It's a cold world out here, too. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that can happen, go wrong. I'm talking about even if you got a college education. It's just this world is rough. And it does depend on your skin color, uh, how easily how easily success will come your way. But twerking, 12, 15, with your sister? <laughs> you need your ass beat. That's a lost call. <laughs> that's a lost call. Especially when the daddy go to jail for handling his business. That is a major blow in that family that day. The wow. mama called the police. That family was destroyed that day for sure. Mm. For sure. That was like some watch what's finna happen. Like, people don't look at that as a tragedy. Mm. But it's a real tragedy. But, you know, it, the man is disposable, I think, the, I think the jury's still out on that because maybe, just maybe, it's a long shot. It really is a long shot. But maybe... It changes those girls' behavior. It might. It just might. I'm. I'm just. I'm hoping, Corey. I really. I'm am. hoping too. I'm hoping. But they mama called the police on the daddy. I get that. I what get that, that tell you? But see, if that's that, the daddy. But now that it's out there. <laughs> now, so, if that's not the daddy, does that make a difference? No. Nah, well, if nah. that was the only male <laughs> influence they were getting, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is this is man, this is tricky because right now, there. I threw cause that now, out there on purpose. Cause now if that's it's, not the daddy, did that make a difference? Cause now is did he care enough to whoop him? Did he but they say put that was his in father. the work and credibility? That's the same mm. thing. If he, if he raised him, then he felt the same way about it. Right, right. If he put in enough work, yeah. and that's even with the real daddy. Let yeah. me tell you something. This is how I feel. If you're the real mm. daddy and you come around once a year. You ain't got no business discipline no motherfucking kids. It's right. gonna be around that mama all the time. You can talk to them, but you ain't got yeah. But I you ain't got no you. business putting your hands on them if you're not around them like yeah. that because you haven't because earned. you're not there to reinforce whatever you what whatever you put in play. You got to be able to reinforce it. This shit through is a repetition. perfect storm of destruction. Mm. This society, <laughs> it's a perfect storm. You how did, I, the, the ends will never be tied? Wow, you got. Babies brought up by the bitch you fuck. <laughs> wow. 
That's why nah, motherfuckers that's don't come around. That's why motherfuckers don't come around. I, 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 if you if you got a respectable woman and, 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 and you got a baby by her, you almost feel relief no matter what happened. Oh, that child gonna be all it's right. It's gonna be cool. Right. We ain't cool. But when you but fuck it's up cool. and right. get that bitch that you smoked with pregnant, <laughs> that <sighs> is an awful feeling. You almost feel like, can we abort the bitch and keep the baby? <laughs> I can have my auntie raise a baby, but that bitch needs to be aborted. <laughs> I just put the baby in the placenta in, in an aquarium. Right. <laughs> we'll grow the baby. Right. So, cut the baby out the bitch stomach. I <laughs> gonna kill Bill. <laughs> Corey, we got about five minutes left. Uh, where you gonna be at this week? Oh, hey, man, Jesus. Look, man, I gotta go back to fucking North Carolina and do a show at NC State. I'm gonna scare the shit out them kids. This is the college gig then. Yeah, this is a college gig. Uh, NC State, get ready. 5150 version of Corey Holcomb is coming down to your school and explain to you why you wasting your time with this put ass debt you collecting. <laughs> <laughs> this bullshit ass university with these jobs that ain't meant for your ass. <laughs> so what's different when you do a, a, a college show from a club show? If you got to remember, any. college kids are 18 through 21 for the most part. Used That's, to be. They 27 now because they take them that long to graduate. You get a few of them in there. You get a few of them in there, but most of them are young. Mm -hmm. So they don't know the world ain't shit. So <laughs> you got a comedian like me performing. It's shocking. <laughs> they're shocked. A lot of times they're like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't do abortion jokes at a college. Okay. Them little girls ain't ready. Just, just think about the girls who really had an abortion. They're fucking still impressionable enough where they feel bad about it. <laughs> when you see them 30-year-old bitches going in there getting abortions, they be like, how do you ever get this shit over with? I'm going to the twerk contest tonight. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> shit. You mean they don't care? They've become desensitized quick? You can have a baby and enter the twerk contest if you've had more than four abortions already. Your pussy is used to it. You just got to... <laughs> Get some galls to stop it up from all that drainage from that night if you don't want to fuck your pants up. <laughs> you stupid bitch. Wow. Wow. All right, so what you got going on, Bobby? Oh, you about man, done with the book? I got, I got, yes, I am, but it's coming out May the, May the 31st for serious. You put a date on that motherfucker again? Yeah, that's the only way you can put it out. That's the only way you can get it out. No, I don't mind you fucking with me because I wrote another book that you you have yet to read. You wrote another read. book? You didn't read my first book. Let's oh, go to book. work. You didn't read. Hey, that read? book is cold though. Are you talking about about uh, Mr. God? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. book is cold. Yeah, you didn't read that one, but no, I, I didn't read it. I, yeah. I don't. I don't lie. I don't read a lot right. of books. So, I listen to video. Okay, well I won't do one. You got funny. an audio version of it? I won't have to because you're not by yourself. It's a whole you lot need of to people. You have an audio version yeah. of yeah. it, yeah. Yeah. and have who voice you gonna use? Keith you, David. No, use Nay Nay. <laughs> From New York. <laughs> Motherfucking uh, Mr. Gar, he uh, did this with his family. <laughs> but uh, wow, got, got good news out of Memphis, man. We're going to be at the Thurgood Marshall Leadership Academy on the campus of Northside High School in August. And we're working on some other schools. Um, uh, some of the people that that you know from the from the road, like that Zebo and them, they kicking in. That's what I, and, did you uh, buy that shirt, by the way? No, Sam gave me this shirt. It came that color? Yeah. Okay. Was, Fuck you. <laughs> Call, Sam right. <laughs> Call Sam right now and let him know, baby. <laughs> You're going to have to get another color. I don't know. <laughs> mop water color in this uh, month. Mop water. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, so, what's yeah. up? Hey, hey, doing a lot. Uh, I also have a book being edited right now, my second book. And what's it called? It's called The Relationship Dismount. How to stick the landing when breaking up with someone. That's you know? a hell of a title. How to yeah. stick the landing. It's really hard to get out of them. So, you know, it's a, it's a breakup book. A how Murder to. the motherfucker. Uh, it's, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it murdered them. That's how you get out. That's that's how you, you no, it's out a cold there. book. We've been working on it for a while now. That's yeah, um, Robert Blake. That's Robert Blake. <laughs> shot that bitch and went to the funeral <laughs> holding the baby. <laughs> yeah, holding and, the baby at the funeral. And beat it. And beat it. Nah, bitch. 
<laughs> That's how you break up, right? Bitch, I'm Beretta, bitch. That did happen. <laughs> that did happen. Oh, man. But uh, the book is being edited. It should be done. Uh, it should be available by August. So it's being copy edited right now. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm um, doing a lot of mentorship in high schools, talking to dis- uh, disenfranchised children who are raised in single parented homes. You know, getting into the education field as well. Me and my homeboy, we're um, co-facilitating a class at a high school out here where the juniors are five credits short to uh, to go to the 12th. And then the seniors are five five credits short to graduate. And if they fail our class, you know, they don't you know, they don't move on. So it's one of those last ditch efforts. They brought in some people that could actually connect with these kids and get them over the hump. So. Just doing a lot of stuff, man. And, of course, you know, Zo What Morning Show on Tuesday mornings. Thank you, Bobby, for showing up, oh, man. man. Appreciate that. That's what's that. up, man. Uh, hey, that's what we're doing. Let me tell you something. Uh, my target release date is December 25th of this year. I'm writing a book mm-hmm. myself. Uh-oh. And it's about, um, it's about like, girls that we saw um, twerking on that video. Mm-hmm. Um, just 75% of women um, in general. The name of the book is called um, Healing Your Blew out vagina. Uh, <laughs> did you know that if you, if you just don't fuck for about eight months, your vagina begins to go back to the form of a regular vagina? Some of y'all, it may be too late, but some of you ladies still have a chance at having a regular pussy to present to people. <laughs> to present <laughs> the vag facts. <laughs> Let's see your vag facts. What's going on? There's some blue out marks. On it, right? <laughs> <laughs> this pussy look like a balloon. Look, kids got two. <laughs> anyway, we gonna wrap this shit up, man. We thank y'all for listening to our wow. ending ass. Fifty one fifty. We'll be back next week. Yeah. Oh Lord.